So what is up with the new Sanwa JLX? Sanwa has not updated the JLF in like 30 years and now we have this new release and it's very exciting and I'm sure you're all wondering, like I was wondering, is it an improvement? Is it worth it? Is it worth the hype? Let's find out. I was fortunate enough to be at EVO 2023 this year and I picked up two of them and I'm gonna tear them apart and show you a comparison. Well, I'm not gonna tear them apart, but you know what I mean. And that's why I'm busting this video out as quick as I can. I've got my new green screen set up here, so hopefully this is all gonna communicate and look really good. <laughs> Improved and redesigned. So we've got this revamped main body here and polished pivot. Improved metal washer improved actuator, and the gate has these snap-in rings, which I'm pretty sure that was already a thing, but we'll see. So I have the new Sanwa JLX on the left, and the old JLF, the original OG, is on the right, and this was late when I shot this. Late at night, I was really tired, and I realized now that I had the pins pointed up here, so forgive me on that, but I just wanted to give you a quick comparison shot here of the two units the plates the same the, the the depth should be about the same it should be a straight drop in they both use the same gates the gates are interchangeable really no difference there so here we got the gates off now and you can see it's pretty much identical so far except for the actuator so you can see this is the slightly oversized actuator and it is a different material and i can tell you the material felt amazing. It's definitely a better quality material on this actuator. I think they use Delrin. It feels like Delrin to me, which is an awesome material. So they both have the same identical Omron switches that we, we all know and love. We're very used to those. They feel exactly the same, same part number and everything. Pretty much the same all around here. And when we flip them over, this is where I think you have the most significant difference. You can see how there's no material here in this in this upper corner right here. And we have all this extra mass added. And that's definitely going to make a difference. And it does. You can feel the difference when you're using it. This is way more beefed up. I don't know how to describe it. But the when you feel that that plastic, it feels different. It feels really dense. It's, it's a cool material. Mass makes a big difference. Just adding mass to something is going to add density and make it feel more stable. Molded into the plastic, you can see it says Sanwa and Palm here as that new material. And if anything, I think they did this to just make it harder to counterfeit, which is actually a really good idea. They molded the threaded receivers into the base plate. On the old one, it was just a nut fitted in there and then they just red thread locked the crap out of it. And this is completely molded in. You can see that we have the original JLF on the top and the new upgraded JLX on the bottom being a different, more dense material. And you can definitely feel the difference in the pivot when you hold it. It is a denser material. It's really hard to show you um, through footage here, but it's the best I can do. You can at least see it side by side. Don't mind the grease. Um, it ships with uh, what I assume is a Shinetsu grease, which is the best stuff, but it's some type of non-drying silicone grease for sure. Here's the two PCBs with the switches soldered to them. The JLX on the left and the JLF on the right. You can see pretty much the same. The differences being the way the serial number is molded in here. This is essentially identical to the original one. The original being on the right, the new one being on the left. Not sure how well this is coming through, but you can see it is a lighter color. I don't know if that matters, if it's a more dense material. It did feel like it was a little denser to me. They are lined up on top to show that they are dead on exactly the same. They're probably inter completely interchangeable. It is a lighter, you can see here, it is a lighter shade, the material. It did feel a little denser to me, but it could just be in my head. All right, so here is the actuators. We have the JLX on the left, the JLF on the right. The JLX actuator is, as far as I know, it was taken from the silent version, which I don't have, so I can't tell you 100% but there's no reason for them to be deceptive. And it was much nicer. It was denser. It felt like a Delrin material, which is a self lubricating plastic. I don't you know, have any way to confirm that, but it definitely felt better. And you can see the, the little cone shape to it. And it is slightly larger too. So it should engage sooner. So you can't really see it here, but here is the beefier washer on the left 
and the original JLF washer on the right, I can tell you it is a beefier washer. It's definitely an improvement. I don't know how significant that'll be, but it's definitely an improvement. So here it is installed on my Chulix and you can see those awesome custom Evo bullet tops that I picked up and I absolutely love those. I think they look great. And so is it worth upgrading? Nah. Okay, hear me out. It's the exact same footprint. It, all the parts are interchangeable. The gates are interchangeable. It is, they did a really good job of making it similar but different and definitely improving it, but not making it so different that they're gonna alienate their everybody, what everybody knows and loves and trusts about the Sanwa stick. That's why you buy a Sanwa stick because you know what you're getting. And what you're getting here is the exact same thing, just slightly better. So is it a huge improvement? Not really. I think owner operators are gonna see a huge difference in how often they're having to change sticks out on machines that are getting super, super heavy play. That being said, those of you that have like Mad Cat sticks, typical sticks with just the sheet metal plate on the top, you're definitely gonna feel an improvement. It's gonna just feel more solid. And they've done a good job of hitting that same price point. It's about $24.95. It's about what you're gonna pay for a JLF. So moving forward, I see no reason to buy a JLF. Should you upgrade it? Maybe um, if you want to have the latest, greatest, absolutely. I, I don't feel ripped off. I don't feel that I don't feel disappointed. But that being said, those of you that are looking at other upgrades, you might be better off upgrading your buttons or using that money elsewhere. It's really up to you. So we, we all know what we're getting when we buy a Sanwa stick and they have done a great job on delivering on that promise just better, slightly better, but it is better. If someone snuck into your house, in the night and swapped your sticks out for JLX's, would you notice? Maybe. So let me know if this has helped you. And if you have any other questions, I'll do my best to answer and, and take a look at it. But overall, it's, it's the same thing, slightly improved. Do what you want with that and keep having a good time. Stay rad and retro. And let me know if this background is distracting. It looks, it looks kind of crazy. <laughs>